guys, it's Libby and I'm going to be looking at organ systems and organisation today. Organ systems are groups of organs that work together to perform a particular role. The digestive system is an organ system made up of the following organs. First of all, we have the glands. Glands, for example, the pancreas and salivary glands, produce digestive enzymes. The liver, which produces bile. The large intestine, which absorbs water molecules from the remaining undigested food from the stomach. And this leads to the production of feces. The small intestine, which digests food and absorbs soluble, can be dissolved food molecules. The stomach, the stomach which digests food. So let's just think about what we've just learned. We know that the digestive system is made up of the stomach which digests food, the glands which produce the digestive juices, the large intestine which absorbs water molecules from the remaining undigested food, the small intestine which digests food and absorbs soluble food molecules, and the liver which produces bile. So we now know that the organ systems are groups of organs which work together to perform a specific role. And an organism is the highest level of organization in a multicellular organism. It consists of several organ systems. So just to sort of look back over the previous episode, which you can listen to or watch called Cells, Tissues and Organs, we learned about the cell, which is the basic building block and how multiple cells which perform similar functions form tissues and how tissues form organs. And now we've just looked at organ systems and how many different organ systems make up an organism. So if we want to think the most complex, we know the most complex level of an org organization is the organism. This is then followed by an organ system, which is followed by an organ, followed by a tissue, and then finally the cell. Okay, so just to recap on organ systems and the digestive system, which we discussed at the beginning, we know it's made up of glands, the stomach, the liver, the small intestine, and the large intestine, which are all organs. And we know the stomach can be, as I just said, is an example of an organ, which itself is made up of tissue. So if we want to consider what might be an organ system versus an organ, as we've just discussed, we know that the stomach is an organ and so are, is the small intestine, the lungs, the liver and the heart, whereas the digestive system can be considered an organ system. So that's everything I'll be talking about today. Thanks so much for listening. Bye.